We're building robots to work with people and around people and for people. We're not building robots to look like people. Think about like the eras of robotics, the eras of automations, right? The very first robot revolution is bolt down robot arms that are doing position kind of pick and place or spot welding or, you know, uh, CNC machining, that kind of very much position control, fixed base robot arm or robot device. You know, it's been a really valuable tool for uh, manufacturing for all kinds of areas of industry. The second revolution in robotics has been mobile robots, autonomous mobile robots. And we're starting to see whole warehouses designed around robots that are you know, autonomous forklifts or just small mobile robots moving shelving units around. Um, many, many different types of mobile robots that are not bolted down but the environment and the whole situation is kind of designed for them. What's happening right now, the new thing, is robots that are able to operate on our terms in human spaces and in human environments. Human-centric robotics is challenging because our space is relatively um, unstructured compared to being able to design the environment around the robot. We've already designed and created environments around our own needs with ceilings a certain height, hallways a certain width, doorways, stairs, and now having robots that can just operate in our own environment, in our own space, without having to modify that space, that is a completely new thing. Our focus at Agility is to build human-centric robots, not humanoid robots. The difference is that human-centric is for people, to work with people and around people. Humanoid, I think, is much more a description of the form of the robot. We are not intentionally building a humanoid robot. We are not building a robot to look like us. We are building a robot to work with us. Sometimes when you're designing something to be human-centric, it ends up being a little humanoid, and that's the case for Digit. We were thinking about this from a blank sheet of paper. It was by no means decided that we were gonna have an upright torso and arms where they are. But as we thought about all the different locations to put arms, just for the mobility purpose, for the uh, walking around and how do you balance the inertia of the leg swinging and so on, honestly having a pair of arms on either side to counter that is the best place for that purpose. We also found that that location of the upright torso for the location of the sensors, for the narrowness of the robot to go through doorways, all of the things kind of landed on the same solution. So our robot, I would say, is a, looks a little bit humanoid as a description of it by intentionally going down the human-centric route. It's never going back. Once we have robots like Digit that are gonna be able to operate in our space and work with us and around us, it's gonna become ubiquitous. We're gonna have robots as part of our daily lives. Um, very, very useful and very, very valuable to us.